We are going to talk about internal versus external fertilization. You should know what this means. It's basically, are the sperm cells coming into contact with the egg cells inside the body or outside the body? And so there are advantages and disadvantages to both. If you can try to figure out what humans are doing, I've drawn a little picture here that is showing you something that is definitely not to scale. So you have sperm cells in here traveling through the fallopian tube trying to find the egg cells. So this is internal fertilization. Humans do internal fertilization. Can you guess what frogs and other amphibians like to do based on this little diagram here? Basically, which results in a higher chance of fertilization? And the answer is internal fertilization results in a higher probability of success. So even though you have organisms that do it externally, basically what they have to do is they have to release lots of sperm cells and lots of egg cells. If you try to watch videos about sea urchin fertilization, that's something that I actually did in my developmental biology class when I was in college, where we took uh, sperm cells and egg cells from sea urchins and try to get them to fertilize. When they actually do it in the ocean, they're not actually coming into contact with each other. So they're just releasing clouds of gametes. So sperm cells and, and egg cells just going out there into a massive cloud. A uh, whole bunch of them will die off. A very few, uh, maybe less than 1% of them will actually successfully fertilize. And of the ones that do, a lot of them will actually get consumed by predators. So uh, when humans do it, we still do release a lot of sperm cells, but they're all just gunning for one particular egg cell. So there's only one egg cell in there, and you can actually be quite successful as a species by using that as a method. So how many gametes are needed to increase the likelihood of fertilization? If it's external, you need a lot more. If it's internal, sperm and egg meet inside the body, humans, some birds, and reptiles. External, obviously, sperm and egg meet outside of the body, salmon, frogs, other fish, uh, and amphibians. There's all a bunch of examples. So it's just a kind of a pros or cons versus um, type of approach to understanding this particular point.